Hello and welcome back. I hope that you are having a fabulous week as we are here on Hump Day. <laughs> what a week this is turning out to be. And as always, I am here with another movie that I have thoroughly interrogated for its plot and content. And if you cannot tell by my upbeat attitude, this is one that I actually enjoyed. So I hope that our review on Monday helped you either in either direction to figure out if that was one that you wanted to see or not. And I actually hope this one will help you equally as much, but in the opposite direction. <laughs> now, this one I, I am actually also going to give a guilty rating to, just because some of the content it would not be necessarily understood by a younger audience. The movie that we are talking about today is called Thelma. Now, this is another indie title that probably is not getting the, the hoopla that a lot of the big titles get, and it's also loosely based on a true story. This one, though, will have you laughing, crying. There is a couple scenes that you are just going to find yourself caught up in if you take a chance on a movie such as this. Younger audiences are not going to relate a whole lot to this movie, because in this one you see Thelma, and she is... She's getting up in her years and her husband's passed away. She's now been on her own for two years now. And she's still navigating how to get through life. She's a cancer survivor. She's been through a lot of crap in life. And she's just, she's enjoying kind of being on her own. But she has her grandson who comes over and helps her with some stuff. And he is just kind of all over the place. He's just kind of... Uh, a misfit. Let's let's just use the term misfit. I think that would fit well. And with so with Thelma, she is so desperate for her independence. And I don't know if you guys had a chance to see Beekeepers or the Beekeeper earlier this year, but it kind of had to deal with scams against the elderly. And that honestly is a big part of the story with Thelma. Is she is scammed, and don't worry, no spoilers, but she is scammed by somebody pretending to be her grandson. And she loses out on she loses a large amount of money. Well, she is not willing to just accept that, so she is determined to try to get it back. And nobody else wants her to do this. It's dangerous. There's too much going on. And so her daughter and her son-in-law, and of course her grandson, all kind of get involved in this situation. But Thelma is determined. And so, with the help of another friend of hers, she she manages to try to figure out a way to get there. And then once she gets there, it is just the the journey getting there, and then what happens when she gets there. It's not the atypical happy ending that you would think of, and there are some errors that okay, Hollywood could not help themselves and. I probably would have given them a higher score if they had not done one particular thing in one particular scene that just, it was like, oh, come on. It's like, I know Hollywood is so anti-gun anymore. And so there's a scene in, a mo in the movie where one of the characters has a gun and they drop it and it goes off. And I'm just as like, Kid, guns don't work that way, especially revolvers. <laughs> and so it's just like one of those things that's like, oh, Come on. And when it happens in this particular scene, it's everybody in the theater jumped. It's like, you do not see this coming. And don't worry, that's not a spoiler because I'm not going to tell you when to expect it. And even in the scenes where you think you might expect that, you're not going to because it's going to catch you completely off guard. And what happens is just, wow. <laughs> but so, I mean, as this whole thing is going on, she, her family is scared they're debating sending out a silver alert. It's basically like an amber alert, but for the elderly. And she so desperately wants to hang on to her independence. But uh, this other friend of hers tries to tell her that just because, I mean, some of these assisted living, living facilities help you out with some things doesn't mean you have any less independence. And it's really a kind of a battle of what she's going through and 
with, like when you need somebody when you don't it's like and it's, it's okay to ask for help it really is like I said there are some really important scenes in this that kind of just really warm your heart and there's other ones that just break it <laughs> I don't know it's just this is one that's going to take you through a gamut of emotions if you do decide to see this, there is a bonus scene in the credits of the real Thelma. And right before the credit starts, it says on screen for Thelma. And I, among others, could not help but tear, tear, tear up a little bit when it said that. Because it was like, oh. it's like your heart just melts a little bit more. Because it's like the way the whole story kind of comes full circle and the way just... Like I said, it's not the traditional happy ending that you would think of, but it it really, it leaves you feeling good at the end of it. It really does. And then after the credits are done rolling, it kind of scrolls up on the screen as the credits go. And of course, it's going to make you cry again because it says, In Loving Memory of Richard Roundtree. And he plays a very important role in this movie. So when you realize that he is also passed on, it's like then that the waterworks just start going again, especially if you are a crier, which I am. <laughs> and this one is just, so it's a lot, it's, I can't necessarily, I was going to say it's a lot of fun, but that's not really the euphemism I want to use for this. It is informative. It's entertaining. It's, it's important if you have a family member that you are approaching this subject with, check out this movie. If you have, if you are concerned about family member, older family members, or anybody in general with the whole phone scams thing, this is one to see. If you are uh, a senior person and things are getting difficult on your own, this is a good movie to see. If you are even my age, it's like I'm going to be 50 this summer. This, this is an important one to see because it shows that, yes, it's okay to ask for help. And people like me have a really hard time doing that because it's like, oh, I can do it. I can do it until I can't. And like this one just, this movie just really shows you it's okay. And it doesn't like just sit there and pat your hand and go, oh, it's going to be okay. Where it just kind of gives you the platitudes. No, this one, you, you feel it as it's going through. So, if you if this one comes locally and any part of this reaches you, definitely check this out. You're probably wondering score-wise where I'm at on this. Well, I'm going to surprise you on this one a little bit. I'm giving Thelma a 7.5 out of 10 on the deputy scale. Like I said, it is thoroughly entertaining. It's not going to be for the... This would not be a good movie as a date night, college kids, young kids, things like that. But I would say if you are 30 or over, you're going to relate with something in this movie. So I hope that that helps. If you want the latest and greatest deputy content, you know which buttons to push. And as always, I will be back soon. Bye-bye.